G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a question about quadratics, it's kind of fun. It goes as follows. The quadratic expression x squared plus mx plus n equals zero has roots that are twice those of x squared plus px plus m equals zero. And none of m, n, and p are themselves zero. So what's the value of n over p? All right, all right, let's take this in, we can take it slowly. So we've got a one quadratic expression, x squared plus mx plus n equals zero, and it has roots that are twice those of another one. So this has roots, say, r and s. And those roots are double the roots of x squared plus px plus m, uh, repeat of m's, OK? Uh, so these roots are double those roots. Um, Actually, let's, let me write this as root 2r and 2s, and this has roots r and s. All right, so these roots are double the roots of that one. So now from this information, I'm meant to be able to work out the value of n divided by p. Uh, n is there divided by p. All right, so somehow I get enough information to work out that ratio. Gosh, all right, what am I going to do here? Um, well, part of me says that maybe I should just use the quadratic formula. The roots are given by the quadratic formula. Work out the quadratic formula for this. Work out the quadratic formula for that. And somehow see how that quadratic formula is double that quadratic formula and somehow maybe something magical will happen. <laughs> that feels awfully hard. I suppose I could do it. It might actually work. But let me try to avoid hard work. Strategy number seven, avoid hard work if you can. So let's see if there's a simpler way to think through this. Um, well, when I, when I see roots, I think, OK, when I've got roots, that means I've got factors. For example, if r is a root, that means x minus r is a factor. If s is a root, x minus s is a factor. So that means, actually, this bottom guy, x squared plus px plus m, has a factor of x minus r in it, has a factor of x minus s in it, and there might be another number in front. However, if I expand this out, I see x times x is x squared. I get a single x squared on the right, which is what I want here, a single x squared, so there's no numbers in front. This is actually it. Do it for this last x squared plus mx plus n equals 0 must be x minus 2r, x minus 2s. These two roots each give a factor. And um, it's going to be a, a 1 in front. Whoops, don't write equals 0. This equals that. Um, it has to be a 1 in front because x times x is x squared, and that's what I want. No other numbers in front. Oh, now I feel like this is a strategy. I could expand this out, get a formula for p, get a formula for m by expanding out and comparing. Expand this out, get another formula for m and a formula for n. And hopefully with those formulas for n and p, it might be obvious what n divided by p is. That feels hopeful. If I'm going to stop there, try it out. Try expanding these and comparing the equations. Is there not, indeed enough information there to work out the ratio n divided by p? I feel that this could be good. This could be hopeful. At least not might give a step of what to do next. Try it out. This is going to be fun. I'll try it too. I'll write my results in an essay to go with this video, and then we can compare results. Have a look at the essay when you're ready. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.